A North Queensland hotel has made its way to North Korea. The world's first floating hotel has been sitting idle in the rogue nation for years. But as the US president eyes off business opportunities, perhaps it could have a second life. They have great beaches. You see that whenever they're exploding their cannons into the ocean, right? I said, boy, look at that. Wouldn't that make a great condo behind? And I explained, I said, you know, instead of doing that, you could have the best hotels in the world right there. When the floater opened near Townsville three decades ago, it was considered an engineering marvel. Catering to cashed up tourists in the 1980s, the hotel offered five-star accommodation in the heart of the Great Barrier Reef. The idea was not to take the reef to the people, but to take people to the reef. It was very exciting, it was different, but I remember walking into the main um, foyer and there was a very big chandelier which was moving slightly, so that was a little unnerving. Probably out of most people's league around here as far as purchase of going out there and staying on it. But after a series of mishaps and financial difficulties, the hotel was sold off, eventually ending up in North Korea. Potentially may become the venue for the international summits, uh, again between North Korean leader and South Korean leader, even President Trump might visit. For the family of the floating hotel's creator, reopening Doug Tarker's vision would be an unexpected but welcome addition to his legacy. I would think he, he would blow his mind. You know, a palace of peace, so to speak, that, wow, that would be awesome. Resurrecting a floating hotel in North Korea might sound like a strange idea, but stranger things have happened. David Chen, ABC News, Townsville.